Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, uh, USD JPY, GBP JPY and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo chart of uh, gold USD. Yesterday I talked about the minor support levels if you remember correctly and as per our expectation gold did bounce from the minor support level of 1800. Yes, I'm still using the word minor because because if you compare it with the 1790 or 1750 level then 1800 level is a pretty minor support. But yes, it is mm, acting as a good support right now. So eventually this will become the new uh, strong support for gold. Okay. But right now gold is trading at 1815 level 1815 level and there was a good bounce from the 1800 yesterday so let's try to understand what are the best trading opportunities for the day first of all i would like to talk about the chart of dxy you know it very well if you have watched my previous videos also that i always talk about dxy 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 yes if you want to trade in forex then yes understanding the chart of dxy understanding the body language of us dollar is very very important okay. so right now dxy is standing at 96.22 this is the current market price as i have been saying that dxy is in sideways right now and you can clearly see that this is a typical sideways market there is no doubt 95.80 to 95.50 is a strong support for the market this is a strong support zone whereas we have 96.6070 uh, upside as the resistance okay but the problem is there market is stuck in the middle on monday okay on monday we were hoping that market would bounce from the support and yes it did bounce and there was a fall on gold we got an opportunity to make money blah 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 <laughs> but right now it is stuck in the middle dxy is stuck in the middle so as a result we are not sure in which direction it will move moreover if you look at the currency strength meter also then you can see that this is the condition of usd okay neither usd is bullish like jpy nor here is like Australian dollar it is just in the middle and the movement is very very less so as a result it is very um, difficult to predict the movement of the US dollar first of all it is in the middle uh, it is in the middle resistance at the top support at the bottom it's stuck in the middle plus this is also not giving us any proper signal here and if you go to the forex sentiment meter okay you'll find the forex sentiment meter on my website Okay, then you'll see forex sentiment meter this is gold <laughs> 40 percent traders are retail traders actually this is the sentiment of the retail traders uh, are on the short side sell side and 59 percent are on the long side buy side okay so retail traders sentiment are also um, kind of confusing okay generally we see that market always move against the sentiment of the retail traders because 90 percent traders lose money in the market but right now from the sentiment meter also we are not very convinced right now okay so things are pretty confusing with gold right now previously if you have been trading gold then you know it well that couple of days ago 1815 to 1820 okay was a resistance for the market and right now market is kind of acting as resistance here only okay this level is previously it was the resistance and again this level is acting as resistance but i don't think so that this will be a very strong resistance for the market because we do not have any proper logic to support this level to consider this level as a very strong resistance so i think that once uh, the volatility or movement is back on us dollar yes definitely we will see some movement on the chart of gold as well Right now, I'll, I'll say that do not think about any buy or sell at this moment right now. Okay, if you are a trader, if you are really a trader, if you are not a gambler, then you will not trade in this level because you do not have any logic of buying and selling in this position. Are you getting my point? Keep in mind, this is your hard-earned money and it's your responsibility to protect it. And if you have already taken a buy position on gold or if you have a buy position, then beyond the trade, it, this chart still looks good. 
okay and at the top we have 18 to 30 to 1830 to sorry 1830 to 32 as the resistance okay this is the resistance level if gold goes up then yes if it reverses from the resistance zone you can take a sell position if it breaks the level i'll be coming down and tell you what should be your next strategy okay because um there is a difference between a true breakout and a false breakout and if you are a beginner new trader then it is hard for you to identify the good breakout and the false breakouts okay i'll be telling you tomorrow whether this is a true breakout or a false breakout but right now just keep in mind if gold goes up then there is a possibility of reversing from the 1830 to 32 level then you can take a sell position and on the downside yes on the downside the previous levels are same 1800 as the support then 1796 also as the support okay but right now slowly and slowly the 1800 level is um, becoming a better support okay and moreover okay i would like to mention one more thing okay we have one more minor support on the chart of gold and that is 1804 yes 1804 is also a minor support so in case of a uh, normal normal selling okay normal selling in the market 1804 also may, may act as a uh, minor support in the market okay so it is stuck in the middle don't do anything okay and if you think that okay my analysis is wrong i am um, hmm, there are some other opportunities that i i don't know then please write down in the comments section i would love to learn from you okay and as you can see in the last minute i have switched to the waller time frame yes in the water type you can see the 200 moving average is coming up and here it may act as support to the market as well but not sure okay so overall see my logic is simple when we do not when we don't see any proper opportunity in a particular chart we should avoid because we should be loyal towards making money not towards any particular pair that's it bye bye take care see you tomorrow